welcome back students in this video we are going to learn about new bayes analysis it's your second chapter in your fifth module so what is new bayes analysis uh, you, you already learnt it in machine learning so only uh, i'll i'll make a effort to throw light on what you have learnt in machine learning the same concept is there and also in artificial intelligence subject you have learnt this so in machine learning new bayes classifiers are a family of uh, simple probabilistic classifiers so based on applying bayes theorem with a strong independence assumptions between the features uh, these work right so they are among the simplest bayesian network models but they could be coupled with kernel density estimation and achieve higher accuracy levels so uh, we will study what is new bayesian uh, new bayes technique and where it could fit and what are the uses of it in this chapter so new bayes technique is a supervised learning technique right so you have learnt uh, many techniques supervised and unsupervised learning techniques so under uns, uh, unsupervised learning techniques you have learnt several techniques in the last video we have covered this and in supervised learning technique this new bayesian is one of the uh, useful technique so it is a machine learning technique it computes the probabilities of an instance belonging to each one of many target classes so you have many target classes so it it uh, this base uh, new base technique it computes the probabilities of an in instance uh, that belongs to one of the many target classes so given the prior probabilities of classification using individual factors so this thing is very important uh, you will be given with prior probabilities of classification right so new bayes technique is used often in classifying text documents into one of multiple predefined categories so you have learnt binning in last videos so this is one of the technique used in binning so new bayes technique is used often in classifying text documents so in the last video we have learnt about text mining so uh, this technique is used for that so it it uh, use it is used to classify text documents into one of the multiple predefined categories okay then coming to what is probability what is probability probability as you all know you have studied in many subjects it is defined as chance of something happening right so probability value ranges from you you, you know it has only two values that is 0 and 1 so uh, 0 here refers to no chance and one refers to certain or total certainty okay so using past event records the probability of something happening in future can be assessed here so that is the main idea in probability so using past events you are uh, uh, telling the probability of something happening in uh, near future the new bayes algorithm is special special in that is the, uh, in that it takes into consideration the prior probability of an instance so here you are going to consider prior probability we will discuss it with the formulas so prior probability of an instance is considered to uh, make record of the future things okay then uh, the word bayes it refers to bayesian analysis or it is taken from bayesian analysis so it computes the probability of a new occurrence of not only on the recent record but also on the basis of prior experience then the word new it represents the strong assumption that all parameters or features of an instance are independent variables with little or no correlation okay uh, example is this if the people are identified by their height weight age and gender all these variables are assumed to be independent of each other okay so based on color or based on height or based on weight or age uh, you will be classified into a uh, family or a country like that so this is called as bayesian analysis okay so this is an example for bayesian analysis right so what is new bayes model here we are going to learn what is new bayes model so this question may be asked as short note uh, write a short note on new bayes model last year it has appeared in uh, sw exam so in abstract new bayes is a conditional probability okay so conditional probability model and it is used for classification purpose okay the goal here is to find a way to predict class variable y using a vector of independent variable x so you have two variables here class you have to predict the value of class variable y using a vector of independent variables x so finding the function f uh, function f x tends to y so in probability terms the goal is to find 
to find the probability of y belonging to a certain class x. So y is generally assumed to be a categorical variable with two or more discrete values. So given an instance, look at this formula. Given an instance to be classified represented by a vector x where x starts from 1 to n representing n features, the Neo Bayes model assigns to an instance probabilities of belonging to any of the k classes. So here we have k classes. The class k with the highest posterior probability is the is labeled is the label assigned to the instance. So uh, which class having the highest posterior probability that label will be assigned to the uh, given given instance right the posterior probability is calculated as a function of prior probabilities and current likelihood it is given as shown in this figure please note down this here p of c k via x is posterior probability this is p of c k is the prior probability p of x is the prior probability of the predictor p of x by c is the current likelihood of the predictor given class okay and then uh, coming to simple classification algorithm so suppose a saloon here we have a problem to solve suppose a saloon needs to predict the service required by the incoming customer okay uh, if there are only two services offered haircut r and manicure pedicure m okay so there are two services r and m r is known as haircut and uh, m is known as manicure and pedicure then the value to be predicted is whether the next customer will be for r or for m service so here we have two classes uh, k the value of k is 2 here so this is how the problem is solved the first step is to compute prior probability suppose the data gathered for the last one year showed that during the period there were 2500 customers so this is given in the problem this is given in the problem uh, this uh, this problem just uh, give a light on how neo bayesian model works okay so this will not be asked in exam i think the first step is to compute prior probability suppose the data gathered for the last one year is uh, the, there were 2500 customers for r service and 1500 customers for m service thus the default probability for the next customer to be R is 2500 by 4000. 4000 by 4000. So totally there were uh, 4000 customers. 2500 plus 1500. Out of that probability for R is 2000 by 4000 or 5 by 8. In other words. Similarly the default probability for the next customer to be M is 1500 by 4000. That is 3 by 8. Right. Based on uh, based on this information alone. The next customer would be would likely be for R because the R's probability is highest here. So another way to predict the service requirement by the next customer is to look at the most recent date. One can look at the last few choices that is uh, the order in which uh, the customers have been come to the shop, saloon shop recently. So this is how you predict uh, teams win. If it is winning the last five matches uh, consequently or uh, in, in accordance with that so you can predict that it will win the next match also like that if it's a win loss win loss win loss then the probability of winning or uh, losing is 50 percent like that it is okay so thomas bay suggested that the prior probability should be informed by more recent data okay neo bayes posterior probability for a class is computed by multiplying the prior probability and the recent probability okay so uh, nb the posterior probability a neo bayesian model posterior probability pr is 5 by 8 into 2 2 by 5 that is equal to 10 by 40 okay then similarly neo bayesian probability p of m is 3 by 8 into 3 by 5 that is 9 by 40 since pr is greater than pm here you can see here uh, 10 by 40 is greater than 9 by 40 uh, it follows that there is a g greater probability that the next customer would be of r okay so suppose however the next customer coming in was for yum service the last five customer sequence now become yum r yum 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 and uh, they, they have given you the order here yum r yum 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 will be there so from from this we have to consider you have to leave this first r you have to leave this first r yum r yum yum and the new customer is also for yum so there will be three yums Thus, the recent data shows the probability for R to be 1 by 5. 
that and that for m to be 4 by 5. Now you, you can uh, conduct again neo Bayesian probability, posterior probability checking. Now the value of r becomes 5 by 8 into 1 by 5 that is equal to 5 by 40 and for m it becomes 12 by 40. Now uh, since p of m is greater than p of r, the we can say that uh, next customer will be for manicure and pedicure service. So this is how uh, you calculate the solution using NB or neo Bayesian proba posterior probability. Okay. Then text classification example is there. So you go through this. <clears throat> you have documents, you have keywords, you have class, healthy, yes or no. Then similarly, you have some words here, keywords. So the question here is, the question here is the goal is to classify the test data into right class H or not H. Okay, so solve this. If you have any problems, please comment me or please message me in WhatsApp. I'll give you the answer. Okay, if you didn't got this, right? Okay. So this ends a Neo Bayesian uh, analysis. This is a small chapter. Uh, only one question can be expected in this from this or a problem. Uh, what we have solved in class sorry in this lecture that can be asked one question that is uh, write a short note on neo Bayes model can be asked from this chapter okay so that's all in the next video we are going to cover about support vector machines from module 5 okay till then take care goodbye